This is an NBC News special report. Hi, welcome to another update on 2091 Rivera Israel. As you know, he releases a new video up on his YouTube channel and he has an update about his carpal tunnel about his hand, his hand, his right hand. As you know, his right hand was in pain right now, but he has good news and bad news that the good news is it's getting a little bit better right now. The bad news is it's still in pain right now. So he, he's, he's, he's getting better soon, everyone. So if he gets better, he'll now soon can keep working on the, on the production of the Loud House series. And episode 16 is still delayed right now. And we're about to hear, hear this video about he upload a moment earlier ago about his right hand and you're about to hear it how how's this announcement went about his right hand and let's listen greetings youtube now just giving an update on my latest condition so far yesterday i'm sure you all noticed i posted a video telling about the situation with my right hand well I have good news and bad news. The good news is, is that my hand is slowly starting to get a little bit better, but it's not 100%. As a matter of fact, I can prove it right now, as you can see right here. Now, remember before where I couldn't use it? Well, look at this. Notice I could move the fingers a little bit. That's the good news. The bad news is, is like I said, I'm not 100% yet. So I would say if the percentage of recovery time, I think I have about 30 or maybe less. But so far, I have to say is that at least, you know, I think I have to thank all of you because I don't know what you all did, but your prayers are obviously helping because my pain is starting to die. I don't know what's going on in my hand, but to be honest, it feels like a war is going on in here, which is not a joke. I feel like yesterday, what, uh, um, whatever it is that, you know, was taunting and damaging my hand, the, the armies of carpal tunnel had taken over my hand, but then sometime today, the, the enormous armies of the white blood cells must have just, you know launched a devastating counterattack and is trying to fight for reclaim control of my hand. That's why I say it feels like because one day I still feel pins and needles, the next day, you know, and it's like nothing happens. So basically right now, I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing. I'm basically taking care of this problem through the use of several methods. Cold water, hot water, and ice. And I believe these three that I just told you could be could play the the, the ultimate factor on my uh, immune system allowing itself to counterattack and try to reclaim the hand. However, I still can't use my hand yet. So it's not as painful as it was yesterday, but it's still to the point I can't do this with it, you know? If I were to try to do this, I'd be feeling a lot of pain. So, the good news is, is that we're getting there. And I also have to thank every single one of you, including you at Ben Von Palmer. I did see your video. Thank you. And yes, I admit you did say a lot of things for people to go easy, but you have to watch also what you say in your comments too. Because when I put, when that day I posted that community tab, you still asked about the percentage. So whenever you see a community tab and it involves me being injured and anything else, the last person anybody wants to hear is what how far you are in episode twelve. No one wants to hear that. Okay. But yeah, I'll take your apology, but remember that let's next time learn from this experience. In the meantime, YouTube, as you can see, I'm still doing everything I can. 
as you can see, I'm recovering more, very well, a little bit. I'm still not 100%, but I'd rather prefer being in this type of scenario than I was yesterday, as I was actually able to sleep for once, which makes real good history. But from there on, I'm happy to announce that if this continues, there's a slight chance I might be able to recover in at least four to three days. So, this is all I wanted to say, and I just wanted Our to horn. say thank you, YouTube. Keep up what you're doing, and never let anything hold you back. Peace. Alright, that is his, his own speech about his announcement about his update carpal tunnel to his right hand. And it looks like I can't ask him uh, about how is the percentage about his Loud House series production after he get a lot of work about the Loud House series. All right. So as you know, you heard him. He is getting a lot, little bit. He is getting a little bit better from his right hand. It's. His pain is almost gone, and give him give him some time to 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 product of the Loud House series. Just keep him some time, and and bro, and I hope I hope that no offense to you, I hope you 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 get get it well with with a uh, ice cubes like something like you put a bag of ice in a plastic bag or something like a food bag put put an ice so so you could put your hand and let your hand get cool so it could it could freeze the pain just like whatever i get hurt i have to put ice something like i remember when i was in kindergarten i used to got myself ice on my head that i, I got hit so so that concludes our 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 new update on twenty ninety one Rivera Israel and and I'll I'll be making a another videos any while and later I hope and we're still having the new new music legacy of the Casa Grande. As you know the Casa Grande is about to be ended. Canceling after since Nickelodeon announced it will be cancelled and we will make another gaming video of WWE since we're in the road of Wrestlemania. This is Evan Biden Pama signing off. Be sure to subscribe, drop a like and come below and follow me on Twitter and turn on notifications so you never missed a video. Peace out my homie.